Today you will learn about the history of SAP. Subscribe now and let's go. The world is getting more and more complex. Right now, there are around 50 billion devices connected to the Internet of Things. More than 5 billion people have access to the Internet and cloud computing turnover surpassed 350 billion US dollar. Ever since then, software applications had a major conflict between broad and in-depth data analysis and fast data analysis due to the limitations on hardware. But in the last years, this has changed due to the advances in certain areas. Those advances include multi-core processors, enabling parallel task processing, which led to a higher data throughput and data processing, as well as optimized cache, where the data can be transferred faster between the main memory and the CPU cores. Furthermore, CPUs are getting bigger. The database of an entire organization can fit into the main memory of one system. Networks and servers, where the advances in network technology enable data ranges in gigabit range. And advances in cloud computing, where customers are free from the complexity and costs of installing and maintaining the IT landscape. And SAP utilizes all of those technologies to deliver cutting-edge software solutions. Let's now focus on the history of SAP. The first SAP solution ever was published in 1972. The name was R1, where the R stands for real-time. We can see it as the birth of ERP systems. The software solution offered a complex view on the business, with real-time processing of data via integrated modules for materials management, procurement and accounting. In 1979, SAP developed R2 as a successor of R1. R2 can be regarded as the first real ERP system in history and it established a market for standard software for companies. R2 supported the most common integrated business functions in real time. It was based on the so-called mainframe architecture in which a central computer was operated via terminals. In 1992, SAP published R3 as a successor of R2. During this time, the personal computer spread more and more around the world. Also, the client-server architecture was developed so applications had to be redeveloped to take full advantage of the power of this new architecture. R3 was also the first step towards a new graphical user interface. In 2004, the Internet had firmly established itself as the common network in the business world. This was the time for ZAP ERP or ECC. As a successor of R3, during this time, companies demanded enhanced integration between their own business apps, business apps of partners and customers, and the Internet. This is why SAP developed the NetWeaver platform, which was based on open standards and enabled the integration of apps. From that point, all SAP apps ran on a common platform and customers could integrate existing apps via standard web services. In 2015, SAP introduced SAP S for HANA. Due to the innovations in the area of hardware architecture, which we already covered in this video, SAP developed the HANA database to exploit the full capabilities of the new hardware. Since the underlying design of the existing ZAP applications cannot fully exploit the performance of the new HANA database, the entire business suite code had to be rewritten. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next time.